That's right. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. It's really late, 12.39 a.m. East Coast time. I wasn't going to do any videos tonight. I'm burnt. Uh, back to work, which is awesome. Uh, so after two years of um, all of my work being in front of the computer to back in the field, up and down ladders and all that, and uh, three nine and a half hour days, I'm pretty spent along with all the little stuff I did on the website and a few videos I put out. Not complaining. But anyway, I'm scanning through the email alerts and headlines of just today. I've had enough. And what I'm wondering is, is when are you going to have enough? Now, I don't mean to say that as an insult. My YouTubers, uh, Twitter, or Facebook people, everybody's busting their balls to wake people up. But we have to do more. Because we're the only ones that can do this. Th those of us that are awake to all this stuff. Now, yesterday, the mass murder in Colorado. As soon as I got home from work and I saw the headline, instant sixth sense kicks in, this is bullshit. Okay. And now today, um, news circulating around that it was a setup. That there's, there's some funkiness going on. Now, I'm not putting any links in this. I'm just going out of memory from the 50 or more news headlines that I scanned earlier. Okay. Um, another post that pissed me off. Uh, because of the uh, war on drugs and keeping pot illegal, uh, this is killing another species of animal because illicit dealers grow their pot in the woods and put down pesticides that kill the rats. The rats are eaten by the fishers and the fishers die. Um, maybe that doesn't sound like a big deal to you, but it is to me. Okay. Um, what else? Too much to list. Too much to list. What I'd like to see is all paralegals, non-corporate -cor attorneys, start researching enlisting the laws that are violated by the federal government, by the Obama administration, and anyone else per your state. And I'd also like to see an activist stand up, one from each state, who will take upon themselves a campaign of public awareness and constant contacts to the governors and the sheriffs of your state. It's my feeling that we are under the control of an, uh, by an illegal regime. That if we actually read all the laws, executive orders, and everything else, you, you have no rights. Uh, there's things you can still do, <laughs> but you can't do what you want to do. YouTubers are being visited by the FBI, and this pisses me off because I know that if they had any real proof, then they'd just come arrest you. They hide in the shadows. They lurk like pedophiles. The only reason they would come and harass anybody who's an activist is because they want to trip you up with wordplay. 
and make you talk yourself into being guilty. This is bullshit. I don't need a government that intentionally goes out of its way to fucking arrest people who are trying to fucking wake people up. But I guess they would have to do that, huh? Because you don't want us telling anybody. We also need a mass campaign to stop the lamestream media from spewing any more propaganda. I am so fucking sick of it. Every time we decide we want to invade a country, that country is slaughtering its people, and it's this and it's that and it's the other thing, and then if you wait six months to a year, they will be your best ally. It's bullshit. Cuts on food stamps, but five billion dollars spent on bad camo gear? Hello? Oh, right, because we have to spend money to stay well hidden or we won't be able to kill people in other lands. I forgot. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, iron. Thousands of tons of iron to be added to the Arctic Ocean, I think I read, to help control global warming. Well, why the fuck not? We spray the fucking air full of aluminum. Why can't we fill the sea with iron? I'm sure it's a fine plan. And I see so many good people getting burned out because they're struggling to wake people up. And it's a slow process. And usually it pushes away the people you love the most. And they're burning out. We have to give one final push, folks. We have to give one final push. We have to take back this country. The, uh news about Obama's birth certificate. It's so far beyond mattering with the news that almost anyone could be in this country with a Hawaii birth certificate. <laughs> uh, we got we got to take action. The Occupy movement, although I was happy people are standing up, it's not effective. We have to march on Washington. And we need our sheriffs and our governors to back us. You're all fighting about an election this year. If you don't fucking get together with me and everybody else, then there might not even be an election, folks. I've reviewed several times that technically we are under martial law anyway. Now I know there aren't military roaming the streets and you can still stay out late as long as you're out at the club getting drunk. That's fine. You can still do that. But you can't protest. Well, you can if you have a permit and as long as the Obama administration isn't anywhere nearby. Oh, okay, that makes me feel better. When does it end? When does it end? Are you just going to keep bowing down? Because, it, 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 yeah, there's great risk. Great risk. And you might lose your MTV. And you might get arrested. Falsely. When injustice becomes law, rebellion becomes duty, folks. And if you're one of those people that are fighting on the social networks every day to wake people up, and you're out in the streets to wake people up, stop wasting your energy. We gotta go to Mount. We gotta go to Washington. There's no way around it. Our governors have to stand up and understand that their children are dying too because of the lies this country told. And their grandchildren are hated around the globe because of the control we have put on all these other countries. I, I just read, we're, we're writing the, the new Syrian constitution. Who the fuck do we think we are? We're going to write another people's constitution? 
Oh, thank you. I couldn't have done it myself. <laughs> and you may wonder why I'm not yelling and screaming, because I am thoroughly pissed off. I am thoroughly disgusted. But the time for anger is over, and the time for action is here. Now, I'm back to work full-time, so you're not going to see as many videos and I've been wanting to get focused more on Op Stop the Bullshit. And the essence of that operation is to pull together all activists. We're fighting, but we're fighting separately. And we need a mass campaign right now to, one, shut down the mainstream media. And two, to wake up the people. See, they have, even the people that are awake, they have them scared that taking back their country is going to, leave this country weak. No. No. If there are any honorable people left on the fucking planet, they are going to commend us for taking control of our country. Because in doing so, we set their countries free. Free from our lust and our greed and our fucking control freak nature. Maybe we, this country can be respected again. Right now we have tens of thousands of children in this country hungry and homeless. And they still have you believe that we must pump billions and trillions of dollars into protecting ourselves from terrorists. If you want to protect yourselves from terrorists, get active. Insist that your governor and your sheriffs march on Washington and let our governors for an interim period run this country. The whole administration, the Congress, the Senate, it, we need a, a reset. We need a reset, folks. The, the, the greed and the manipulation and the... It's gone too deep. And the people that are in control of this country have to be right in our backyard. That's why I recommend our governors. Because the people of each state have more control over the governor than the people of any state have over the president. We also need our military active in this. Many, many of the military people are waking up because they, they understand they're being used. They're pawns in a game. And the game is murder. But we need more of them. We need our military personnel heading off a campaign to wake up all of our military as well. Our police. We need to inform our police. Now I know, some of them are... They're humans. You know, what do you want? They're human beings. And see, the mainstream media wants you to hate them because they beat up a protester. Because if you hate them, then they're going to hate you. And they're not going to stand beside you. There was a time in this country that, for the most part, law enforcement was well received by the community. Not anymore. Not anymore. Maybe a few small towns left where you actually know the local cop and he's actually not out to bust your balls. Well, those are few and far between now. So we need the few members of our police that are in tune with what's going on to start waking up other police. Because if they're already in love with the government, you might say, they're not going to listen to the local people, but they might listen to their own. We've got to kick things in high gear, folks. November's coming quickly. And your two choices are evil A or evil B. <laughs> They've got you running scared. You're afraid everything's going to collapse. It already did. It already did. This is not 
the America I knew. I know, I think. Or was it all a lie from the beginning? Maybe since the foundations of it. Maybe since Plymouth Rock. <laughs> Either way, we're here now. And if we, America, want to remain free people... I saw a funny picture on uh, Facebook. You know, the UN and Obama trying to take our guns. Because <sighs> that'll stop mass murders, right? <laughs> and the uh, photo said, it was the Willy Wonka, you know. Tell me again how criminals obey laws. Every time you make a law, you make another kind of criminal. You create another kind of fucking evil. You don't need all those, all these laws. People can self-govern on a day-to-day -day basis. No, we need a, a functioning government of some sort. But I don't know. Sometimes I think that it's not even worth the time. Those are, that are awake are going to get more awake, and those that are asleep are going to go into a coma. I really honestly in my heart feel that we're in the last days, and that not anything we can do is going to change anything. But I'm not one to quit. Are you? Or did you give up already? Anyway, I'd like to see somebody from each state stand up to begin with and say, I will contact my governor, I will contact my sheriff. We need to create a form letter that we can all use. I'll start trying to put some work into this tomorrow. And... We need to get going, so I'm sorry, folks, I'm exhausted, but I, I wasn't going to wait until tomorrow for this. I, I've just seen too many headlines day after day after day after day after day. We're poisoning the planet. We're killing our own people. We're killing their people. <laughs> you know, about uh, six or eight months ago, I was listening to the radio, driving, and the news report on the radio said that Ben Bernanke had decided not to raise um, interest rates for a few more years. Made everybody happy. You're so fucking dummy down, you didn't even get it. One man controls your money. <laughs> Most people don't even know that we don't own the Federal Reserve. That our money is somebody else's. We rent it we pay heavy for it. Most people don't even know that. We need a mass campaign. I'll tell you this, I wish I knew how to hack. Because if I did, I would shut down every mainstream media source on a certain day and I would break into their broadcasts with all alternative media news from all different places all over the world. But I only turned a computer on four years ago. I'm a newbie. I got no skills. But I got ideas and I have reach on the social networks and I have balls enough to go out in public. We've got to do something. If you have ideas, or if you want to take part in, in trying to get some steam on any of these things I've talked about, please give me an email, kevin at masterofmanythings.com. 
We gotta do more, folks. We're all exhausted. We're all beat down. But we need one last push. We need one last push. Anyway. Much love. Many thanks for the views and shares. Many, many thanks for the visits to the website. It's nice to see those little dots all over the planet when I go there. And there's people from all over the world looking at the information. That, to me, again, being a newbie would know it's an amazing thought that people all over the planet are actually listening to me or reading me or taking part in what I do. And that's that's more love than I've ever known. So to all of you, many thanks. Now get off your ass. We're way behind.